Hello fashion sellers, I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen Geely, and if you enjoy what I wear during the week, where I wear outfits that I have designed, patterned and sewn, and also refashioning projects, and that can also include high street ready to wear. And if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. It is Tuesday today. I didn't do an outfit of the week yesterday, which is which was a bank holiday Monday. So in England, we had a bank holiday weekend, and it's family time for me. So uh, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't want to. Yeah. So I didn't do an outfit for Monday. Like I said, it's Tuesday today, so this is what I'm wearing today. But before I get into what I'm wearing, I just want to say, Saturday, and if we had a mini heat wave, and I wasn't expecting that. I'll just come a bit closer to the camera. So on Saturday, we had a mini heat wave in England. So I was wearing a cardigan. The cardigan stayed in the car, and um, so I didn't wear it. I threw it over my shoulders later on in the evening, but you know, throughout the day, I didn't wear it. Was I too hot? No, I wasn't, even though I was in my cold and neck. Um, probably was the only one when we went. I was wearing a cold neck, but I felt comfortable. I was, I was yeah, it was. It's just what it is, isn't it? It's fashion. So, Saturday, yeah, the start of the heat wave. I mean, this is England, anything can happen when the weather comes along. So, um, Saturday, and then I don't do an outfit on a week and a Sunday. And then Monday, like I said, it's bank holiday weekend, so I spent time with family on Monday. So, I was just in the jeans, husband's jeans. No, my jeans, husband's t shirt. Anyway, yeah, something like that. So today is Tuesday and the weather, it looks like it's going to be another warm day. I don't think it's going to be as warm as it was over the weekend. I mean, Saturday was really hot. I said so Sunday was going to be even hotter than Saturday, but it wasn't. It was a lot cooler than Saturday. So, and then Monday was, yeah, it was about, about the same as well. Um, Monday. Saturday, Sunday, yeah, Monday. Today, it's, it's good. I think it's going to be roughly about the same. So, with that said, the weather out of the way. Um, today's outfit for Tuesday is this refashioned man's shirt. And I will be doing a video tutorial on this because um, I've worn this once before, a couple of weeks back, what I wore with different pants. Maybe my skinny jeans, I think I wore it with, and most probably would be my silver bag, because I was really hooked on <laughs> wearing my silver bag with everything. Um, but I'm not doing that today, so I've got my silk shoes. We're wearing these with, um, with this shirt when I wore it a few weeks ago. But anyway, um, I have changed up a little bit, I'm wearing some different pants as I said and I've got my my fun bag <laughs> so I'm wearing that bag with it today and these glasses I decided to go for a different look with my glasses um because I'm, I'm more than likely with the wall of my white ones with the silver frame to them um, which I tend to go for when, when I'm wearing white and the only jewellery that I have on is these silver earrings and this bracelet. That's it. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's my outfit for today. I'll bring the camera down so you can have a look to see what I am wearing. So, I'll give you a bit of detail of the shirt here. 
So um, with the tutorial, I'm obviously going to go into a lot more depth of how I do this crossover and get this kind of draping effect. And yeah. going to be wearing this look for today. You need to see the move of the skirt. The full effect, you need to see that. And of course, it's that it just blows around your body the movement. Mostly red, and uh, I've got vertical and horizontal stripes going on here. Um, I'll show you my I'm wearing pants. I have designed and pattern drafted the pants. The pants are actually part of the suit, and I'm just wearing the pants. And it's a three piece suit, and there should be some on my YouTube channel about that. I made it, it's quite a recent project. Anyway, so today's weather is. Not gonna go there. Um, <laughs> Summer is no, no longer for sure. Um, yeah, for sure. I think early in the week or oh, last weekend, um, that was the mini heat, heat wave that we had in the UK. So I'm layering up with my knitwear. So I'll be wearing a lot more of my knitwear. I've got quite a big knitwear collection, um, basically because I do like knitwear. And also, it's a climate which I live in anyway. So the camisole I did not make, um, and this is a cardigan and a felt stick. 
at the waistline. So this is what it looks like. Um, I've got minimal amount of jewelry, so I've got my pillow bracelet on and the silver earrings. I'm wearing my sunglasses as a hair accessory. And yeah, that's it really. I did have um, a moment of where I, I wasn't sure what bag to go for. <laughs> no, it isn't, well, you probably could be right. It could be that bag you're thinking of that I'm always gravitating towards. But there is another bag in contention that I may just go for today. And it's like the fact, no, I've been to the shop for ages. Absolutely ages, which is a good thing because I've got lots of fabric that I need to 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 design and pattern draft and you know and to sew. So um, that is a mess. Up. But I was at the charity shop a couple of days ago, and I came across this cute little bag, um, which is quite trendy at the moment. So I um, was in two minds whether to I bought the bag to wear it with this outfit or the other one. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yes. <laughs> silver bag. That goes with my silver hair. That someone's mentioned in my comments. Thank you very much. Um, it's probably the reason why I'm gravitating toward it because I've got my, my silver hair. But um, yeah, so I was in two minds whether to go for this one or this one, which is um, a transparent bag. Let me come a bit closer. But it's got the silver, it's got a silver pouch in there that you can't get that much in. Um, <laughs> there's my the back. Yeah, you really can't pack my lipstick. And that's about, that's about it. So um, yeah, so I was in two choices of whether to go for the silver or to go for this one. And I kind of did want your help. <laughs> but by the time this video goes out, of course, and, you know, um, yeah. Anyway. So yeah, so I was just letting you know the little dilemma that I was having, whether to choose this bag or that bag. I'm going to tell you now which bag I'm going to go for. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to show you the lower part of my outfit. So uh, I belted it, so I've got that rebel thing going on again, wearing the uh, um, it's an inexpensive belt, so I don't mind, you know, knotting it the way I do. And that's what I tend to do with my more inexpensive belt, so it's uh, yeah, it's not leather or anything like that. So yeah, I think it was quite cute. So I crossed my cardigan over, and it's quite a snug fit. And these are the pants. I'm hoping that you can see the vertical white stripes that are in it, but there is, and they're bell bottom ones. Like they're bell bottoms and I've got train a wedge training type shoe <laughs> on about these three years actually I've come across these the other day so um, yeah that's what I'm wearing at the bottom this is I've chosen to go with this one I don't know whether it's because it's new or because it's got the silver in there I think it's both. I don't think. I know it's both. So yeah. So I think that really goes well with the outfit that I've got on. I'm in naked blue today and I've only made the pants. Like I said yesterday. My knitwear collection is now coming out, so um, I'll be wearing a lot of separates, and mainly the tops are going to be, yeah, my kind of like collection of knitwear that I'll be showing you for autumn winter. And this is one of my, I wouldn't say it's my favourite, because it's one of two things I don't like about it, and one of them is the neckline. I just think the neckline is not the right shape for this particular design. But I do look sleeve detail. And it ties into a bow there. And the kind of here is, yeah, it's not sitting that well. But it's ready to it's ready to wear, so there's nothing much I can do about it. But 
Yeah. But I do, I do love the sleeve. I do love the sleeve detailing. I think that is gorgeous. Excellent. So, yeah. And it's quite, it's quite fitted as well. And it's quite long. It, it's, I think it was meant to be a dress. So I've kind of rooted up a little bit around here so I have a bit more roofed and I always wear it with my blue pants when I do wear it with these bell bottom ones. I may actually try some straight or skinny pants for them as well. So yeah, and the only jewellery that I'm wearing are the silver earrings I wore these yesterday and this necklace, which I just love. This is another thing. I don't. I don't like. I don't like the chain. So I'm gonna have to change that. I might put just a ribbon. Yeah, I'll put a ribbon in. I'm, I'm always saying this. <laughs> My list of things to do when it comes to sewing or you know little hand sewing and you know changes that I want to make to jewelry and stuff. Um, but I will get around to that definitely because I'll be wearing this a lot more often. So. See, look at this. I love movement like this in jewellery, I just think it's so cute. It just adds another dimension to what you're wearing. The movement of it is so nice. I do, I do like movement in garments. Like I just said, it just adds this other element to what you're wearing, isn't it? And the shoes that these three years, um, they're square toe. Um, they've got room for your toes to move, but they're not the best shoes to walk in. And I think it's probably because they're very square at the front. So the bag that I'm going to be wearing with this outfit is this blue one. I didn't want too much attention to my bag. I just wanted all the attention to actually go towards the sleeve and also this piece of jewellery. So, yeah, you see this bag before, this is where the, I always carry this bag this way, I don't know why. I think it's got something to do with the shape, I think. But, um, if I carry it in my hands, I very rarely carry it like that. It always has to be cooked in my hand like that. And obviously, you know, wear it on my shoulder as well. So that's my outfit for today. Today's outfit. I decided to go the whole way and wear everything lilac. My top is lilac and my skirt is also lilac and also my nails. <laughs> So what I've done is, um, I do have a pair of lilac shoes. I just don't know where they are at the moment. I mean, I've had them for many, many years and I do have two sisters. Hmm. But I do have smaller feet than my sisters, so I know that would be where I need to look. Um, but yeah, I just don't know where they are. Maybe I've got one too many shoes. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I decided to have lilac nails and I have got, it's not lilac, but it's plump. My lipstick. Um, and I've got a necklace, I haven't worn any earrings. And yeah, like I said, my shirt, a refashioned project. Now, I do have another shirt similar to this one. And this is a lot different from that, but the technique that I use for crossing over is the same. I have these long cuffs, it's a man's shirt, it's a, turn, it's a turn back cuff. So what I did was I put buttons, white buttons, in each one of the buttonhole areas of the shirt on both sleeves. And I just, I just thought, you know, when you think about cuff links, and that kind of the inspiration came through rather than trying to find lilac buttons in order to put into these holes so I decided I'll go with white and um, this shirt is a lot bigger than the one that I first made and I wore that last week did I? I think or a couple of weeks back 
and the only difference between that is the way I've done the cuffs and also the back because it was a bigger shirt so what I had to do was gather the back in on there hopefully you can see that I'll bring the camera down um, so you can have a better look um, so it has this kind of puffy out section to it um, yeah so I am going to do a tutorial about how to do this technique which is coming soon so if anybody's interested please keep tuned and yeah so I've got you may have seen this skirt earlier in the week and this bag so I've got the bag and also tan shoes and you'll see those in a moment and to finish off with the lilac theme of my outfit yeah I've got sunglasses they're not lilac well there's a tint of lilac in the lens you may be able to see that the lens yeah there's a tint of lilac have I worn these before? I'm not sure so yeah so lilac in my lens lilac shirt and lilac skirt and I'm ready to go what can I say? I just love the movement of the skirt, so I had to wear it again today. And the sun has made an appearance. It has been raining. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my outfit for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the bell once you subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode of What I Wear During the Week.